All right, if you're watching this, you either came from my B-Twist video or you just searched how to overcome fear for B-Twist and you ended up here. So I will show you the ways that I progressed into learning a B-Twist because it's not super difficult, but it can be scary at first. Understand the technique of it. It's impossible to know how it feels until you go and try it, but if you think that you have knowledge on how it works or you've done twisting moves in the past, that can help you here. Just general confidence will help too. Secondly, this one's probably the most effective, is you want to find a safe spot to train. Now, safe is different for everybody. I, the first time I ever attempted a B-twist, it was onto a mattress, but you might not be allowed to bring a mattress outside as I wasn't at first. I had to really talk my mom into letting me bring it. So you can also go to a, a gymnastics gym, learn it on the floor or the foam pit. I don't think a foam pit is necessary. It's not that dangerous, but whatever makes you comfortable will help. But also, sand is good, it's pretty accessible. Uh, you can also go onto grass if you're that daring, or just soft dirt ground in general will help. The main reason for this and overcoming the fear is that, again, it's not a super dangerous move, but if you can find a spot to throw it 100% confidently, then you'll learn a lot faster than if you have to build up into it. So, if you can go to sand and just try it 100% and you don't land it, then you can work on fixing it. But if you're trying it on, I don't know, concrete, or just somewhere you don't feel safe, then you're never going to be going for it 100%. That's what, that's what can make it dangerous, is if you're bailing on a full attempt, or if you're not really going for it at all. See if you can land it one time on what is soft. If you can land it on something soft, then what I do for any flip or anything when I'm moving it off is, after I've landed it on the soft surface, I just set down a marker of where I'm starting, and I land into the soft spot, the sand maybe, and then I just move the marker back and back and back, until I'm completely on the grass and then I know that I can do it on grass and I just throw it everywhere face different directions so you know you're comfortable that can help and also move locations so you know for a fact it's not just that spot you're comfortable doing it after you've landed your b-twist go for the b-twist but don't lower your chest at all that sounds dumb but I promise it'll work that's what I did when I did it on grass the first time just go for the b-twist and don't lower your chest and then after you've done that, which you should be able to do pretty easily on the first try, if you can feel a lot of power out of it, then just start lowering your chest. If it still feels kind of awkward, maybe you want to go back and practice a little bit before you take it onto grass. But using this technique, I moved my B-twist onto concrete the same day that I learned it on grass. So I'll demonstrate that now. If you're 100% comfortable trying it, but you notice that you're not going flat, you're still diagonal, really focus on the kick of your back leg before you go to do the twist. Make sure that you're using momentum when you first start. Either spin steps, cartwheel, whatever you want. Or you could just do a little jump. Spin steps look like this. You start here, you go one, two. Show again. Spin, step back. You could also just Skip the first part of that and just do a little hop like. Or once you get it down really comfortable, you can do it the way I do it, which is just standing, twist. All those things, finding somewhere soft, not lowering your chest, and having good confidence in general when approaching the V-twist, you should be able to overcome the fear pretty easily. And once you're not afraid of doing it anymore, it's actually a very, very easy move, in my opinion. Easier than any flip I've learned so far. So, with that, you should be able to learn a B-Twist safely. If you don't know the technique yet, and you just came here for starting off, you can look at my tutorial, which I just made here. It's my first time trying something like that, so I hope it works. So, yeah, that's it. See you guys later.